It's been two years since the announcement of Phoebe Philo's new brand. On February 9, the day before the start of New York Fashion Week, Philo shared a post on her Instagram page to announce that their inaugural collection would be released in September 2023. We already know that LVMH has some financial stake in the brand, and in typical Philo fashion much emphasis will be placed on quality and design. The world fell in love with Philo Celine, thanks to its clean lines and minimalist chic approach. Phoebe Philo designed 17 runway collections at Celine before Hedy Sleeman took over. After a 10-year run, Philo's departure was met with shock and sadness. Many praised her genius for being able to capture the desires and needs of a new generation of women. Sarah Moa from Vogue described it best when she said that Phoebe is a proven genius for tuning into the intuitions of a generation, she's acted as lightning conductor of the female energy of the times. Philo's departure from Celine caused a surge in searches for her designs as well as an increase in consignment site revenue. Her collections have always been highly anticipated throughout the decade due to her ability to create sleek minimalism, express individualism, and define the look of this time period. So let's take a look at the real impact of Phoebe Philo Celine, and how it changed fashion. Philo's debut collection was spring 2010, and it resonated deeply with the fashion world. Phoebe Philo has always been true to her identity, creating fashion that reflects the reality of life rather than being just artistic or theatrical. This honesty was seen in this very first collection and immediately won over the female audience. Her vision for strong, contemporary minimalism that paid homage to her past while offering something new was apparent. Philo said of the collection, I just wanted to clean it up, make it powerful and contemporary. The luxuriously sporty creations exuded precision, pairing sharp skirts with leather tees, piqué shirting with cross-laced dresses and military jackets. Her signature flair is evident in the flattering cut of high-waisted trousers and her own wedge sandal designs, complemented by a muted color palette of camel, beige, white and black tinged with an unmistakable edge of sensuality. Women everywhere, wanted to be a philo Celine girl. And it seemed that history was repeating itself as people became once again mesmerized by the same minimalist aesthetic that propelled her to fame whilst at Chloe. For her sophomore fall 2010 collection, Philo demonstrated that she was up for the challenge of following up on the success of expectations set by her debut collection. She presented a show filled with excellent outerwear, further refining the polished and minimal day-to-night ensemble she debuted in spring 2010. Major similarities have been drawn between this collection and the work of Helmut Lang and Philo had chosen the same venue where he had staged his final show, this felt like an homage. This collection gave us pieces that were simply grown up and flattering. Her narrow funnel-necked coats and dresses, slim kick flares, A-line skirts, and cream silk blouses created a feeling of timelessness. Items that spoke to the power of simplicity. Effortless elegance was a persistent statement throughout this collection. Philo was delivering on her distinctive vision of a line that delivered strength and confidence while still looking effortlessly chic. And as her popularity grew, despite never actively seeking them out, celebrities seemed to flock to Philo's Celine designs. But not on red carpets where the endorsement is apparent, but in their real lives, day to day further demonstrating the sheer impact of Philo's quality of design. Her spring 2011 collection demonstrated Philo's craftsmanship capabilities. Some believed this was a way for her to distinguish her talent from the many copycats that had begun attempting to replicate her designs due to the success of the last two seasons. Phoebe Philo's spring collection is a perfect balance between fabric-led craftsmanship and contemporary style. Finely hand-woven silk vests and coats exuded timeless elegance, while quilting, raw canvas and denim gave a modern twist. The designer also introduced geometric prints that gave looks a graphic sportiness. Predominantly neutral tones such as white, ivory, and pale shades maintained the philo minimalism. But the collection still offered a slightly more casual sense with its relaxed silhouettes like deep hems and flowy pants. For evening wear, Philo kept things sophisticated yet effortless with streamlined racerback all-in-ones and v-neck shifts. All in all, this collection showed how Philo could create an updated take on her signature Celine sparseness without compromising on quality or comfort.
And women who shy away from ball gowns have long been able to rely on Philo's designs at Celine for black tie events. While the overall fall 2011 collection leaned more towards the conservative side, she provided unique twists on tuxedo wear, such as a particularly alluring baby pink version. Philo was demonstrating her view of what women's wear should be with every collection and people loved it. They adored the wearability, the peered-back minimalism, the outstanding quality and the modern twists on classics. She knew how to play with shape, color, and add just enough flair to differentiate her pieces from the norm and therefore her customer from everyone else. And fashion lovers simply couldn't get enough. Philo scaled back considerably for her fall 2012 show with a third baby on the way. Although it was seen by only a select few, it remained one of the most impactful collections throughout the last decade. The graphic color-blocked Crombie coat in particular is one of the decade's standout pieces. Spring 2012 saw Philo transitioning from sleek minimalism to more sculptural and feminine designs. Wide patent belts, graceful basques, and full, rounded sleeves were all winning designs in the eyes of critics. Philo challenged the minimalist label when she showed her spring 2013 collection, designed after the birth of her third child. The luminous silks glided down the runway with unfinished seams and twisted drapes, creating relaxed yet confident silhouettes. The show was mainly remembered for its iconic, mink-lined Birkenstock-style sandals. This marked a huge trend for fashion enthusiasts worldwide. We are still seeing the impact and influence of the dad sandal here in 2023, a style that Philo made cool 10 years ago. Philo hit a new stride in spring 2014, the midway point of her tenure with Celine. Drawing on inspirations from Soul to Soul and Brassai, the collection was freely expressive and its bold brushstroke prints were unforgettable. The asymmetrical plissé skirts became extremely popular and this show is remembered for its unique verve. It looked like Philo simply had a lot of fun creating it. Fall 2014 was a Celine show full of personal touches, single earrings collaged from found objects, mismatched buttons, and a vibrant corsage on a grey leopard print coat. Philo has been one of the most highly regarded designers not only because she set trends with pieces like her signature single earring, but also because the smallest details of her collections are often the most delightful. She continued to explore her own creative spectrum playing with deconstruction and pom-poms for fall 2015 and notably popularizing the floral print dress before the then-unknown Demna of Vetmon did it. This now seemingly permanent staple really became that after achieving prominence in Philo's spring 2015 collection. The spring 2016 collection was marked by Philo's humble and effortless linen dress, modeled by Binks Walton, with puffed sleeves, a nipped waist, and falling to just below the knees. You can still see reinterpretations of this dress in many lower-priced fashion lines today. By the time her last collection made its debut in September 2018, rumors were circulating about Philo's departure from Celine. She focused on tailored daywear with grand gestures like loop-hemmed trenches that were anything but ordinary. This marked Philo's final rise of creativity, making it one of the most memorable Celine collections of all time. Phoebe Philo's Celine designs instantly became collector's items once her departure was announced. The business of fashion even reported that the resale prices of Celine garments rose by 30%. For over a decade, Celine was the ultimate go-to for modern women looking for clothes that not only look great but also empowered them and made them feel confident. Philo's minimalistic designs and clean lines created timeless looks that allowed women to dress for themselves, rather than to impress anyone else. She defined female gaze dressing for this era. Phoebe Philo's cultural impact can be felt across women's wear on a global scale, always setting her own trends that have been embraced by fashion-conscious women everywhere. It is nearly impossible to find a wardrobe that does not include some kind of item inspired by Philo's work. The world awaits her eponymous label with truly bated breath. Many of us are looking for that commanding modernity that we fell in love with Philo for. We can only hope she is bringing that same fresh approach to her new label. Until then, we still have the old Celine to love. Thank you so much for watching, please like comment and subscribe.